G'day guys, here's a setup guide for the Unity Steam Build Uploader. You probably got this off uh, GitHub or the Unity Asset Store. So to begin setting this one up, we're going to go to Edit Preferences. Then in here we want to set up how our uh, computer handles everything in general. So click on Enabled here, enter in the path to Steam SDK. If you don't have one, that's fine. Uh, you likely have a little question mark here, so you can click on that one. That will bring up a page on Steamworks. Then from that, you'll be able to click on this one here. And then you can download the latest SDK. This will download a zip, and you just need to extract that somewhere on your computer, like on C drive or something. Uh, and then you just enter in the path here. Then I'll make the path turn green so that way you can say, yep, that's the correct thing. If it doesn't work, then it might be either the version is too uh, new and isn't supported yet, or uh, the path is entered incorrectly. Next up, you want to enter in your uh, Steam login credentials. So your username and password that you normally use on Steam. I've already got mine entered, so it's just not showing them here. Uh, these will all be saved on your local computer. These won't be uploaded anywhere. Since this is an open source project, you can look at all the code and verify that yourself if you choose. If you're using Unity Cloud or the uh, DevOps uh, build service, then you can turn on Unity Cloud, enter in the account that you're using here, the project ID uh, that's on uh, Unity Cloud as well, as well as the DevOps API ID or API key. Uh, once those are all entered, then you'll be able to see all the different builds and stuff uh, once we get to the next page. But I'm going to turn this off for now. Next up, we want to start entering the project settings. Edit project settings. Go to a Steam Build Uploader. And here you want to actually set up your game itself. So you can click on New. And then we can enter in, or in my case, we can do a last message. And we want to get the rest of the information of which you can get by uh, Steamworks. So if we jump over to Steamworks, and we go to this one here, uh, you'll be able to go to like depots. And then what it will have is these ones here. These are your depots. You might only have one if you have initially set this up, or multiple, up to you. Uh, but the depot is typically just a plus one to your app ID. And this here is your app ID. It's also in your URL, Steam on your Steam page as well. It's pretty universal. So we can copy this one, and we can confirm that it is just plus one. So 1141031 and 032. Perfect. So we can jump back here. There's our app ID. We've got our depots. So let's just place that one in, place that one in, one and two. We've got our Windows and Mac ones. Fantastic. So that's all set up now. Next up is we want to get the branches. Now, by default, you only have one branch, which is in, in this case none. It is called default on. Uh, on here, so if we go back to uh, builds, there is always a default branch. This is the same branch that everyone will always get your uh, your build from, unless they specifically switch. And we can confirm this by jumping over here. Uh, let's go to the properties on a game, and then you've got your betas, and then you can see that there's these drop downs here, and these are the branches or betas, beta participation as they call it here. Next up is we want to actually start uploading stuff. So we're gonna to go to build, Steam build uploader. And then in here is where we're going to start setting up new things. So I'm gonna go new. I want to uh, upload a file from my computer. So I'm gonna choose manual, otherwise Unity Cloud, download something from Unity Cloud. Click on this one here. And I do have something on my computer. So I'm just going to choose the zip. You can choose a EXE of your game if you choose. And then we want it to go to Steamworks. Uh, I'm going to choose the last message, which is the 15th one that we just did. And then we're going to choose Windows and None. 
And then we're going to show you a uh, little message here. Let's go uh, test build. You, obviously, you want to put in a bit more of a descriptive message here. So you can say if it's a what type of fix it was, what type of version this is, why you're uploading it. So there's a bit more information for you on the other side, on the uh, other end. So then we can just click upload and do yes. And you can watch it start doing stuff. And you can see here, it's actually trying to upload things. So grab a coffee, this will take a while. This will take quite a while. And here we can see that it said, oh, you got the wrong username and password. So I'm going to have to go and enter those in correctly and I will be back. Okay, we are back. Entered in my new details. Something I forgot was to press save up here. So that way all your changes to this will persist when you reopen uh, the window again. So let's try and re-upload. Now it's saying it's trying to upload again. Oh, it's gone and said there is a... Uh, two-factor thing that you need to do so if I were to actually jump onto my phone which you clearly cannot see I'll get a notification from Steam saying hey someone's trying to log in uh, and what I can do is I could press the button and say yes I approve but since this is two-factor that does not work so what I'm gonna do is choose show Steam guard code and I'm gonna enter in this number 0257 Ah, that was awkward. H two five seven F, and then go use the code. So now it's going to try and re-log in and resend everything. If you do have uh, the Steam authentication set up on your computer, then you'll have to do this every time. If you've got the backup code turned on, then that there is also uh, a really good option, and you only have to do it once. Now we've got the pop-up say, "Yay, things are complete! Yay!" And what we can do is we can actually look at everything that came back from Steam. So we look at this message here and we can have a look through. So it sent through to, there's my username, there's my app ID and my, my depot. Uh, it says it is uploading everything. It's trying to log in, uh, verify the Steam Guard code and then everything's there. So at this point it's just kind of given up and it's like, yep, I'm all done, sorted and everything's uploaded. The way you can confirm if it's uploaded or not is at least just jump back over here and I'm just going to refresh this page and then we can see test build that there is the same build that we just uploaded and there you go uh, I hope you get to use this pretty well enjoy have fun make games uh, and be swell Laters.